Dit is Papa Alfa No Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 1 oktober 2016. Dit is het Brutte van Zaterdag. Vandaag is de O weer in de maand, al heb ik geen idee wat dat betekent en of het wel iets betekent. Today's bulletin will be almost entirely in English. We will have some Morse code today and an SSTV image which will include Willem PA3 CTA's new fairly adorable cat duo. We start with the propagation bulletin and right at the end we will have an item on the IR, IR al- Blooper. And right at the end we will have an item on the I- uh, Blooper. <laughs> and right at the end we will have an item on the IRLP system. I think it was the first voice over IP system for ham radio, even before the start of Echolink. If we have some time for it, we will also have some news items. Hello, this is Bob McCready, GK0, FGX, with the TX Talk podcast of the GB2 RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain. Now the radio propagation report compiled by Golf 0 Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha and Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar on Friday the 23rd of September. This week saw the solar flux index increase from 80 to 86 but poor ionospheric conditions due to a high speed solar wind stream dominated the earlier part of the week. The K index hit 5 on the 20th but as predicted geomagnetic conditions improved slightly towards the end of the week. On the bright side while some days have seen very poor HF conditions there have been highlights. The Chiltern ionosond has indicated that the maximum usable frequency over a 3000 km path has exceeded 21 megahertz at times and better autumnal conditions mean that there is dx around this is an ideal month for working south africa and south america on 18 21 and even 24 megahertz at times east west paths may be better on 14 megahertz and will improve as we head into october and don't ignore 30 meters at the moment which may deliver some surprises 80 and 40 meters are also starting to come into their own at dusk and after sunset Our best advice is to look for days that are geomagnetically quiet, that is when the K index is 0, 1 or 2. This may be tricky as NOAA predicts very unsettled geomagnetic conditions for 8 days from September the 28th, so work your best DX in the first half of this week. And now the VHF and up propagation news. Prospects for tropospheric openings are poor this week, with low pressure near to the north and west of Britain bringing autumnal weather. For much of the period, this will mean some quite strong winds at times and little chance of tropo developing. There may be some rain scatter options, although this could be difficult with fast moving weather systems. There is likely to be high pressure over the continent and this will place the better tropo conditions over the near continent and across Biscay at times and probably not accessible for most of this country. The sporadic E season seems to be over I'm afraid so it's back to random meteor scatter as the main DX mode on the lower VHF bands. Moon declination is heading negative again later this week, so EME moon windows will shorten as the week goes on. Losses are also increasing as the moon heads out to apogee, but don't despair of the poor VHF conditions. There are plenty of workable satellites in orbit to give you your fix of VHF DX, so why not give them a try? You can go to the AMSAT UK website for more information, and of course you can go to txfactor.co. Dot UK and view the most recent episode of TX Factor in which Mike Marsh and myself have a go at operating through an FM satellite. And that's all for this week from the Propagation team. Foundations of Amateur Radio. Technology is a moving feast. New ideas spring new inventions which in turn change our lives. Amateur Radio is at the forefront of such inventions. Radio amateurs have been, until recently, the only soldering iron brigade around. We've been building things for over a hundred years and we continue as a community to think of new ideas and ways to make them happen. For example, we take technologies like All Star Link, Echo Link, wires and so on all in our stride. We think nothing of having our radios connected to each other using techniques other than radio spectrum. In November 1997, when iPhone still meant internet phone, an inquisitive 22-year-old amateur called Dave Cameron, VE7LTD, came up with a way to link a radio to the internet, and the first three internet radio linking project stations were connected to each other, and the now global network of IRLP nodes was born. Dave built a DTMF decoder which allowed remote control of a computer, and the radio that was attached to it, and made it possible to send the audio from the radio to the sound card of the computer, which in turn sent that audio in digital format across the internet, 
to a similarly equipped system where the audio was turned back into a radio transmission. This bridging idea took off and many different systems were developed, many of which are in active use today. The various systems all use some form of voice over IP to transmit audio across the internet, but there are many variations on how the audio gets to the system in the first place. In IRLP, as I mentioned, the audio can only come in via an amateur radio. Echolink uses a similar system, but in addition to amateur radio as a source, you can register your call sign and use several different applications on your computer or mobile phone to link into the network. Allstar takes this idea further. Instead of making a point-to-point -point connection, the Allstar system is based around an open source telephone exchange called Asterisk, and it's used to link together the various systems. Other variations also exist. The idea of using voice over IP techniques spawned a whole set of radio technologies that use similar methodologies to compress voice, and then instead of transmitting it across the internet, use radio waves to send them from one radio to the next. Technologies such as D-Star, System Fusion, Motobro and DMR built on this idea. Of course, these technologies also use the internet to share information and connect users across the globe. There is some contention around these systems. Many amateurs consider them to be not real radio. But then I suspect if you look at the birth of SSB, you'll find die-hard CW operators with a similar complaint. The same is true for low-power propagation modes like WSPR, which aren't real radio because you cannot have a QSO. Other issues in the technical sphere also exist. The IRLP software is closed source. You can only buy IRLP hardware from one place and it doesn't allow you to connect in any other way than via a radio. Echolink now charges for conferences being registered in the system. In the past I've already spoken about Fusion, D-Star and Motobro and their restrictions around interoperability, licensing and closed source nature. From a practical perspective, there are also concerns about the use of these systems in the case of massive failures during local disasters and the like. If the internet is down, many of these systems will simply become local radio networks. Coverage could perhaps be extended by creating a local mesh network, but HF radio still very much has its place in our world. For me, this is all about learning and innovation. Ultimately, which system you use is up to you. I live in a software world where open source rules for good reason, and my vote will always go to open source. To be clear, I'm not adverse to making money, we all have to pay the rent, but making innovation and invention secret is not the way to go in our hyper-connected world. I'm Ono, Victor Kilo 6, Foxtrot Lima Alpha Bravo.
Deze minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2 NOS. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Vandaag beginnen we aan een nieuwe rubriek, de Ham Horoscoop. Ja, je hoort het goed. Daily Minutes heeft na een uitgebreide speurtocht een sterrenwiggelaar gevonden met een achtergrond in de amateurwereld, die vanaf nu iedere dag een horoscoop voor amateurs met een bepaald sterrenbeeld zal trekken. Vandaag de horoscoop voor schorpioenamateurs voor dit weekend. Schorpioenamateurs zijn geboren tussen 24 oktober en 22 november. Cursus verlopen dit weekend harmonieus en advies, zoals je van bijvoorbeeld een ervaren mede-amateur krijgt, zal op maat gesneden blijken te zijn. Een idee over je antennesituatie moet waarschijnlijk worden herzien. Je bent bij lokale verbindingen graag gezien bij je etervrienden. Ze lijken je overal te kunnen vinden. Ga dit weekend in op uitnodigingen en verras jezelf door eens een amateurband of een modulatiesoort te kiezen waar je niet zo vaak komt. Of je nu wilt of niet, je moet je aandacht richten op die ene zaak in je amateurstation waar iets aan schort. Maak daar dus ook tijd voor vrij. Het belooft een druk en productief weekend voor je te worden, ook op het niet-amateurfront.